Hey everybody, my name's Tyler Watson, your Las Vegas and Henderson Realtor. This is Tour Time with Tyler and welcome to Silverado Valley. Let's check out this model. So this one right here, this is the Elliott. It's 2,472 square feet. It is a three bedroom, two and a half bath, and it starts at 419,990. I really like this community. So with this builder, basically everything you see is included. I'll point out a few little options that they do offer. As always, if you are new, consider subscribing. I try to put out videos just about every single day. And if you could do me that huge, huge favor, hit that like button because it really does help out the channel. So you have this little patio up here, which is kind of cool. You can come around this way. You can come around this way. You get a two car garage. These are pretty healthy size models. Check out this patio. Now again, do that huge, huge favor and hit that like button. Now, I always say in all my videos, do yourself a favor. And if you're looking at a new home, new construction, call a realtor. Don't fill out anything online. Don't go to the sales office and go view the models because the builder will not let you be represented. And those sales associates, they're awesome, they will help you out, but just so you know, they will not represent you. They represent the builder, so their fiduciary responsibility is to the builder. If you have questions about that, all of my info is in the description, so I would love to answer any questions and help you out. So right here we have the powder room. It's a nice vanity. It's a pretty good size. So it's just gonna be the bumper style cabinets. You can always option them up later, or add the um, soft closing. You go to Lowe's, Home Depot. A nice size powder room. So you get your toilet and a window. The mini blinds are an option. Usually they're about like $2,000. In here they've done all of the flooring. So normally in the wet areas, the bathrooms, laundry rooms, kitchens. Depends on the community. I don't know this one because the sales associates aren't here right now. It is either gonna be tile, usually like a 12 by 12 tile or uh, linoleum. And then the rest of the house will be carpet. So, wow. This is a big, is this a light? Big coat closet. So you have your Harry Potter coat closet. It's gonna go down and under the stairs. So a lot of storage down here. Pretty nice. I like how this helm enters. It just has a really welcoming flow. It's nice and wide right here. Just back up so you can see. Right here, this is your two car garage. Right now it is the construction office. You even have this little nook right here. This is pretty cool. Before heading into the main living area, let's take it on upstairs. Like I was saying, basically everything's included in this home besides the flooring, those mini blinds, and they normally put a backsplash in the models. That's about it. This model probably has, I would say, knowing the square footage, probably about 22-ish thousand dollars worth of options. So this home is probably somewhere around the 445 mark, give or take. That's not including the backyard. We'll get to that and I'll do some more explaining. So you have your loft area. This is big. This is a really big loft actually. Right there, that little cap right here. That's a pre-wire cap if you wanna add a ceiling fan and or light or just a chandelier. They give you the option to add it. It's already been wired. So you just literally need to hang it. And there's already, um, the switches, the light switches. So, really, really nice big loft. Good size. Let's come on in. I'm gonna guess that's the master, so let's wait on that. Come on down this way. We'll work our way back. Let me just hit the light real quick before we head into the, oh, oh it's automatic, even better. So, right here, we get to the first bedroom. Again, same thing up above with that pre-wire cap. This is a nice bedroom. So that's a full-size bed, two nightstands. They have a bench, oops. Just hit the little door stopper and a dresser. Nice big window. This is a big bedroom. I would say at least 11 by 12. I like this room. I like seeing when builders actually put in decent sized rooms for a while, especially in some communities, they're putting like these little 10 by 10 rooms where you could barely even fit the bed and a big closet, probably six feet by four feet. 
Don't quote me on those numbers. I'm just giving my estimated idea of what those will be, but I'm really impressed with how big these rooms are. Another full-size bed, two nightstands. You could easily scoot the bed over just a bit and put a desk over there. Big window. If you don't know where we are, we are kind of in the middle of town. It's kind of a paradise area on the west side. If you know where the South Point Casino is, we're on the other side of the 15, probably about a mile and a half away from it. Two door, now it looks like a little bit bigger than just a standard two door sliding closet. Does it come behind? A uh, little bit. What you can always do is raise the bar and shelf up to here, and then you get a second bar and shelf right here, and it doubles your closet space as far as hanging space and storage. So I always recommend doing that. Before we get into the laundry room, here is the upstairs bath. Now these are the higher counter, uh, counter uh, excuse me there, higher counter height uh, vanities, which is really nice. You don't have to bend over as much. It could be a little bit of a, a challenge if you have uh, small kids, you probably have to put a stool. But two nice vanities. You get the undermounted sinks. You do get a medicine cabinet on each side. And what I love seeing about these is there's a door right here and a door right here. So you can actually use the sinks while someone's actually in the shower. You have your toilet and your tub shower combo. It's even a nice little window up there. Now this is gonna be a fiberglass composite material. The only complaint I always have on these is I just wish they would put the soap niche because uh, you do have a decent amount of room for soaps and shampoos, but it would just be nice if you have that little extra bit. There's even a little cubby area right here. So let's spin straight across and we get to the laundry room. Now, I don't know if the washer dryer included. Sometimes they are, sometimes they aren't. If you are curious, let me know and I could definitely reach out to one of my sales associates I do a bunch of work with. Now you'll get the shelf. You can always add the um, cabinetry later on. They don't offer it. But the nice thing about this is this laundry room's good size. There's actually some storage right here. No sink option though, no wash basin. I know a lot of people do like to have the laundry sink, but unfortunately not available in this community. Coming into the master, this is good size. I really like the balcony even now, that's included. Again, same thing here, you'll have the pre-wire cap for those ceiling fans and or lights or chandeliers, whatever option you decide to go with later on. That's a king size bed, two big nightstands. There's even a little sitting area. It's so funny how they always put the plants in here. Let me know in your home, do you have a plant inside one of the bedrooms? I never see that at people's homes, but always the models have it. So it's so funny to see that. Real quick, let me just show you outside. Oh, you know what? They're locked right now since they don't have sales associates here. I try to give you an idea. So it's a pretty good sized balcony. And right there is South Point Casino. Oh, you even see people riding around on the little uh, ATVs. So cool thing about this is there's actually a closet there and I can see the closet there. We'll come back to this one just in a second, but let's come on into this bathroom. So again, upgraded flooring through here. Let's check out this closet first. Really good size closet. I like this. Mm, maybe eight by eight. It's almost a small bedroom. It's pretty big. They've already done it right with the double bar and shelf. You even have some storage over, here, over there. If you want to do some shoes or folded clothes. Straight across, we have our toilet area. Even a window in here. Let's come on into the rest of the bathroom. So this should be your linen closet and oh my goodness gracious, it's huge. Let me see if there's a light in here. That's interesting. So no light in here, but this is bigger than a pantry. It's massive for a linen closet. If we spin around, we get to the shower tub. Really nice seeing the vanity for makeup area. You have separate, well, they're adjoined, but it's really nice how there is some separation there between the two vanities. 
right here will be your tub. I don't know if this community allows for a stone option. A lot of times in these communities, uh, they may have an option for um, stone instead of fiberglass in the master. But there is your shower area. And this is what I was talking about with that soap niche. See how you have that little cubby right there so you can put it there. You even have the bench. Pretty nice. So let's head on downstairs. Oh, before we get there, I forgot to do this one, this closet, just so you could see. Now it's probably a third of the size of the other one, but still there is a lot of closet space in here. Not bad, especially seeing how big the other one is. Now let's head on downstairs. Now, <clears throat> if you have any questions about any of these homes, these new builds, resales, anything in between, you have questions on how is it going out here as far as the market in the Vegas and Henderson region, feel free to reach out to me. Love to help you out in any way possible. Love to answer any questions you might have. All of my info is down in the description below. And again, if you could do that huge favor and hit that like button because it really does help out with the videos. This channel has been absolutely exploding. So here we have the dining space. This is kind of cool. They have a little bar area. One thing that they do not offer, they sometimes do in the models, is a wallpaper on some of the walls just to liven it up a bit. And our living space. Wow, nice kitchen. So before we get into the kitchen, let's head over into the living space. Nice sectional. And cool thing with this builder is they already put the wires in the wall up there. So there's already an outlet and a cable outlet as well. And there's some two by four blocking. So when you go to hang the TV, it's actually surprisingly easy. Let me just come on over here so you can see the whole thing. Very, very nice. I'm gonna check out this kitchen. So you have this whole espresso area. There's even a phone jack right there if you still have a landline. These even have the USB outlets. And this is my favorite countertop they offer. Now, this is a standard option. They have like three or four different ones you can pick from. Same thing with three or four different color cabinets. The backsplash, like I mentioned before, is an upgrade. They do have the 42 inch uppers. They stop about a foot away from the ceiling just because these are nine foot ceilings down here. So it makes it feel really, really spacious. And this is pretty cool how this island is shaped. So there's the overhang here and more storage below. I like this uh, couch table. It's really cool. But they have five bar stools here because the overhang continues around. This is a really, really big island. Right here we have our undermounted sink. Before we get there, they have the stainless steel appliances throughout the home. You have your undermounted sink. And if you didn't know what this little thing is, this is your reverse osmosis water filler. So there's some filters underneath the sink and that is basically uh, bottled water quality that comes out of that. This would be your view. If you were to wash dishes or be loading up the uh, dishwasher. So there's cabinets here and there's cabinets along the entire other side. Let me see, there's more right here. So none right here, but cabinetry on both sides. And there is a lot of cabinetry throughout here. Before we go through the rest of the kitchen, let's just, while we're here, check out, wow. So, oh my goodness gracious. Check out this pantry. You could survive World War III and IV over here. It would have been nice uh, being able to stock up on all the toilet paper because you have plenty of room and then you even have that room underneath the stairs, that big linen room upstairs. A lot of storage throughout this house and a lot of counter space in this kitchen. So again, same cabinets, more cabinetry up above. Now what's cool about this, I can already tell that this microwave, since it goes up, is going to vent outside. It's not gonna be recirculating the air in. Right here we have our five burner cooktop with that middle grill area. And just a single oven here though. I know some people are gonna wish that you could get that double oven, 
just because it is a really good size house. Here we have our stainless steel fridge. But overall, very, very nice home. Let me know what you think about this one down in the comments below. Do you like it? Would you like a more modern home? I know some people really like that more box look. So right here, <clears throat> you will get the covered patio. That is the balcony from up above. Unfortunately, we can't go outside. Now, basically where that, so when you see these pavers right here, it will just go across, you'll get the pavers, but everything you see beyond the pavers will be dirt. So definitely keep that in mind when purchasing a home, especially a new construction home. You're only going to get dirt for the backyard. I would say this home probably has about $15,000, maybe a little bit more. Probably 15 ish thousand dollars to complete that backyard, give or take. It depends on how expensive that uh, uh, synthetic grass was. So, definitely budget for a backyard when you're buying new construction. If you have any other questions, all of my info is down in the description below. Feel free to reach out to me, send me a text, shoot me an email, give me a call. I would love to help you out in any way possible. And again, Thank you to everyone who has been subscribing. The channel has been absolutely exploding and thank you. I'm really happy everyone's enjoying these. If you have any ideas of how to make the channel better, definitely let me know. I do take those all into consideration. I love reading the comments, what everyone has to say. Again, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. If you wanna stay up to date, hit the notification bell. And as always, thanks for tagging along with Tour Time with Tyler. Stay safe out there, everyone.